And thank you, Thomas. Tonight, we have a better look at what led up to a heated moment on the roads in Fairhope. Police have made a second arrest in the road rage case. News 5's Brianna Hollis has been following this story for us all week. She's live in Fairhope with today's developments. Well, of course, at this point, guys, we've shown you that road raid picture dozens of times. But we now know the man standing on top of the car is Wendell Robinson of Daphne. And he says his 12-year-old daughter was with him through the whole ordeal. Two men, one crazy picture, two sides of the story. We're now learning that Wendell Robinson is the man on the left on top of Maurice Mayo's car. All of this unfolding Monday on US 98 near downtown Fairhope. Yesterday, we heard from Mayo. Roaring up his engine and, you know, hunking the horn, trying to get us to move out the passing lane, but we couldn't get out the passing lane because it was traffic. It was running full speed, and he jumped on the windshield, jumped on the windshield, cracked the windshield. Today, we're learning Robinson thinks Mayo started it. In a statement to police, Robinson says Mayo got out of the car at the red light, walked up to Robinson's vehicle, and kicked it. Robinson's 12-year-old daughter was allegedly in the car with him at the time. That's when Robinson told police he got out to confront Mayo. We asked Mayo about this. He says he never touched Robinson's car. According to the initial police report, when Robinson got out of the car, that's when things really heated up, leading to this. The gun in Mayo's hand wasn't loaded. He says he just wanted to scare Robinson off. But you put my family at risk. Yeah. Mayo called police right away, and he was actually arrested for unlawful possession of a firearm, but soon released. Police say Robinson never called to report the incident, but turned himself in after seeing pictures of himself on the news. Now, we did try to reach out to Robinson. His address wasn't listed in the jail log, though, because this was just a misdemeanor charge. We reached out to him on Facebook, but didn't hear back. Reporting live in Fairhope, Brianna Hollis, WKRG News 5.